It's blurry, it's a balm, it's a powder, it's a foundation, it's a primer. It's pretty much everything I've ever wanted. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited, you guys. So we're getting kind of a late start because I was waiting for my delivery from Sephora because I ordered two more shades. So we will have four shades to swatch today. It is 12.02, we are going to uh, do a wear test today. So it might not be as long as I wanted it to be, but you'll get a really good idea. Now I do have normal to dry, pretty balanced skin, but it can get very, very dry. So uh, just the, some facts about me. Sometimes it can get a little bit oily through the T-zone if I'm in a humid climate or just depends, just depends on my hormones sometimes. But for the most part, I am very dry to normal. So what Danessa Myricks described this as is pretty much universal to whatever you want to use it for. You can use this as a light coverage foundation out the door, very natural, no makeup makeup look, or you can use it as, you know, could probably build it up into something a little bit more medium coverage. I don't know because this is a first impression, so we're gonna play with this together and that's how we're going to use it today. You can use this over foundation, you can use it under your foundation, you can use it as an eyeshadow base. It's gonna be specific to your needs. And that's the beauty of this product is you can use it any way you want. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am. I am such a geek. I am an ingredient geek. You guys know this. I love to do all my research. So I stayed up really late last night, really focusing on this powerhouse ingredient called Upsolite because I was not familiar with it. So I did a lot of research on YouTube, on Google, and I just really found the source of it. So we'll get into that in just a second and why it's just going to be the most amazing thing, no matter what skin type you are. Yes, if you're oily skin type and you have like an overproduction of sebum, then yes, this is going to be a miracle product for you. But us dry skin girls, it's also going to be a great ingredient. And I will explain that in just a second. And there'll be timestamps right there. We're going to really concentrate on what upsell light is today because I think that's really important to note because a lot of confusion was with this product. I remember when I dropped it in the community post that they were going to be launching this. By the way, make sure you have that notification bell on because I do all the new product drops in the community post and I give you guys the links and all of that. They are affiliate links and it does really help me out when you guys utilize my links. So I will have all of the products I'm talking about today linked below. But why there was a lot of confusion. Is this a powder? Is it a bomb? Because Wayne Goss released his bomb and it was more of a foundation bomb. This is totally different, completely different. So if you bought that and you're like, I love that, still try this because this is completely different from that. I personally did a video. You can check out that new Wayne Goss foundation bomb. I liked it during the video. I did not like it afterwards. So it just never wore well on my skin. It made a lot of my eyeshadows and liners smear, no matter how much I set it down. I just didn't like it. Even though it was beautiful on my skin, it just wasn't my cup of tea, my personal cup of tea. This I'm more excited about because you guys know I'm a powder girl. So for all of my powder foundations, yes, Amber, I'm talking to you. I think this is gonna be the most amazing product for us girls that love powder. Danessa Myricks really concentrates on glowy skin. So even though she brought a product to market that absorbs oil, she still wanted that skin to pull through. She still wanted that natural glow. So she balanced it out with other ingredients to help that out. So we'll touch on those ingredients in just a second. Let's just talk about the quick general details. This is $36 and it is available in 11 shades, 10 shades with a skin tint and one universal shade. And that universal shade can be used on any skin tone. She said from light to dark, it works for everybody. I did pick up one, two, three, and six because we're going to use six as a bronze tour, a bronzer contour shade, just to kind of see how we can play with that. I also picked up this Danessa Myricks color fix. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the color fix. 
gold mine is my ultimate holy grail eyeshadow product uh, I want I've been wanting to try two and two is very difficult to find on other websites they do not offer the nudes at Sephora only on DanessaMyricks.com and camera ready cosmetics so you can I will have the links below for that where Danessa Myricks is available I will have all the links in the description box below but this is too nude. I have been dying to try this out. I will show you how I apply shade two. And these are supremely versatile hybrid cream colors with extreme long wearing paint that can be safely used on the lips, eyes, or face. And is formulated for remarkable longevity and endurance. It's smudge proof, waterproof, rapid drying, and sustainable in high temperatures. It has a matte finish, acts as a standalone eyeshadow, lip, or cheek but also could be used for a base for powder products if you're using this as a concealer plays well with wax silicone and oil-based products I really love how it's making my skin look so natural and skin like 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 I barely have anything on but it's covering up the areas that I want and you can do her yummy serum skin foundation I do not own that and you can also prime with her serum like hybrid type primer glowing product and I will have all of those listed below I don't own those to let you know whether or not they're amazing or not I do eventually want to pick those up she will be offering this in store in June at Sephora so let's jump in to the details really quickly this is the yummy skin blurring balm powder again $36 18 grams of product 0.63 ounces about two dollars per gram that is a fantastic price point for a luxury clean vegan brand now she did say okay yes there's only 11 shades but they stretch because these are meant and she stressed this it is meant to be a sheer buildable coverage this is why she only came out with 11 shades it's like a setting powder almost but this does a whole lot more than what a setting powder would do a texture reducing coverage boosting blurring balm that balances your oils throughout the day while maintaining hydration this groundbreaking balm to powder formula is powered by Swedish super ingredient Upsolite. It's a cutting edge technology that balances sebum and reduces oil throughout the day for a natural clean glow. This petal like texture feels like a balm but sets like a powder for a long lasting shine free look. Upsolite balances and absorbs excess sebum and sweat while maintaining the skin's hydration. Again, this is balanced with other ingredients like olive derived squalene, known to balance oil production and diminish visible signs of aging, hyaluronic acid, which we all know and love. So if you are using this to prime, using a universal shade or one that's very close to your skin tent, you would tap and blend with fingers to prime eyelids or complexion to highlight and contour using a tinted shades at least two shades lighter or deeper than your skin tone whether you're highlighting or contouring apply with fingers or a brush to brighten and sculpt to set your foundation using universal or any of the tinted shades tap on your fingers with a dense brush to set complexion quickly I do want to show the ingredients right there as I always do there's nothing in, there's no coconut oil, thank goodness. I was so afraid there was gonna be Capra Caprylic triglyceride and that is not in there. There is, again, squalene dimethicone. C3-15 alkaline is just more of a, that is non-comedogenic, by the way, that is not coconut oil. There's another name, I'll put it right there, that's very similar to it, that is coconut oil, but that is just a binding agent. That is not going to affect your skin. I did look that up. So Upsolite is a porous magnesium sulfate, but it's like in a powdered, structured form. Where this came about is I'm going to show you right there. Epsilite is the world's only porous magnesium carbonate, a revolutionary ingredient in moisture management. Dubbed the impossible material, it was finally invented at Uppsala University in Sweden in 2012. Previous scientists had given up hope of ever making it after almost a century of trying to create Upsolite. It was a mistake that literally happened overnight in a lab. Researchers in Uppsala, Sweden, accidentally left a reaction running over the weekend and ended up resolving a century-old chemistry problem. Their work has led to the development of new material dubbed 
Upsolite with remarkable water binding properties. Upsolite has no water integrated into its structure and is not crystalline. Instead, it is mesoporous, a structure with pores that are a million times smaller than the width of a human hair, which provide it with much greater surface area. Upsolite encapsulates excess oil and moisture, leaving its outer structure dry. This can extend the wear time of makeup products and decrease caking and creasing caused by excess sebum. There is no flashback. That is huge. And Rena, you're going to love that because Rena, our Glam Fam sister, was asking for flashback products, no flashback products. So this is going to be a really great one. So where I got a lot of this information and the really good video I saw was from Disruptive Materials. This company is who owns the patent Upsolite and you will see on their website that Danessa Myricks was the first one to come out with a bomb powder. Now there are other powders on the market right now, but only three other powders. So Evolve, a loose setting powder that launched in four shades, and then All Natural came out with theirs on June 9th of 2021, and then Blotting Powder from Linda Helberg. Linda Helberg came out with hers in May of 2021. Now Patina from Skin Philosophy, or Polina, sorry, from Skin Philosophy did collaborate with Disruptive Materials to create their version of an Upsolite powder. So you can check that one out as well. And then there's a dry shampoo on the market and you can see, I cannot pronounce that name, but you can check that out. So one thing I did learn on the Disruptive Materials YouTube channel and the lady really went into great detail. She was saying Upsolite, and this is coming from the people who patented Upsolite, will not dry out your skin. It will only absorb excess sebum that sits on top of the surface of the skin. Since the oil is being absorbed inside of the pore particle, it actually remains dry on the surface of your skin and it actually can hold that for up to eight hours. I did wanna try this with Rose and Ben's C41 brush because that is what Danessa Myricks said she thought that that was the best brush she used for this application if you're not using your fingers. I did order that brush, but unfortunately it's not gonna be here until after I release this video. So I ordered it too late. Excited anyway, because we all love Rose and Ben on Instagram and TikTok. She's amazing, Rose. So you can check out her stuff, you guys, if you haven't. Let's roll over into the shades that I did purchase. Again, I went with shade one, which is fair with neutral undertones, and I'll show you just the swatch for that and that is very light we're going to use that to set my under eye today shade two we'll go with that one first is light with golden undertones and that is like my perfect color right there i love that color it has that those yellow undertones that i just love shade three is medium with neutral undertones so a little bit more beige and a little bit darker will be an awesome color during the summertime for someone like me if I'm self tanning. And then shade six, again, I picked up because I wanted something to bronze tour with, and that is tan with neutral undertones. I could probably even do shade seven as a bronzer because it does have more warmer undertones. I will show you all of the shades side by side and what they look like from one, two, three, and six. And then we will take a look at, that's indoors and just natural daylight, no lights or anything on my iPhone cam. And then let's swing on outside together and I will show you what it looks like outside and video. And that's just my iPhone in natural daylight. And it's, you can really see the true tones of that color. Very beautiful. All the shades are amazing and they just melted into my arm. Like it was like butter. It was so smooth. I think you guys can tell by my excitement. I cannot wait to dive into this, but I did want to show you guys the swatches just in case you didn't know what shade you were. And hopefully that does help you guys out. I can't always do that, but you know, unless I get PR, which Denise Myricks contact me. Cause you know, I'd love for some PR you guys. That'd be so awesome. Cause I can show you guys a lot more shades without having to break my bank account. All right, you guys. So let's go in with one first. Again, I already promised 
primed, prepped my skin. So now we're ready to go. Let's make sure I'm not creasing. So I'm just going to take my damp beauty sponge and just make sure we get out because I talked too much. But I know that was a lot, you guys, and I'm sorry I went so much into detail, but some people really appreciate that, and I know a lot of you do. I did a lot of research last night because I really wanted to make sure I understood what this ingredient did because it's not like any other ingredient, you guys. This is very different and unique to the market. And you, all you need to do is just push the end and that little spatula will pop out, which is awesome. And you don't have to use this, it's up to you. And then you can just scrape a little bit out. You can put it on a little Petri pan or just on the back of your hand like I'm doing. And we're just gonna kind of take it from there for right now. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this for my under eye, you guys. So I'm just going to take it on my finger first. And we're just going to go like this. And we're just going to kind of do that first. And then I think we're going to take my Tarte brush. I think this will be a good one. I'm just going to take a little bit of product on there as well. And we're just going to press that in like that. You know what? I also want to try my Stands Out Beauty Sponge. Oh, this one's dirty. Shoot. Okay, I think I have a clean end right there. I didn't clean it. Hopefully I don't get any blush on there. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, I wish this was clean. Okay, we're gonna try to do it as much as we can. Oh yeah, that's a really good one for this product. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yes, 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 yes. We're gonna do this one on the eyelid because we're gonna actually prime the lid with this. And I would just go directly from the Stands Out Beauty Sponge. I like this for setting the under eye. And just go directly in there with the Stands Out Beauty Sponge and just prime that area. Okay, let's just take my BK Beauty Brush now and just make sure that we press all that in there. Oh, the BK Beauty Brush is amazing with it too. Oh my goodness, you can really go either way. All right, just because we need to try, let's try the sponge and see if that works. It's so lightweight. This is my Makeup Forever sponge that you guys know I love. So we're gonna take that on there. This is damp. Oh, that's beautiful too. Oh my gosh, okay, well. Look at that. I actually feel like that one is the best, to be honest. Okay, that was the best one. Okay, love this. So we're gonna take shade six, and this is a neutral undertone. I did that on purpose because I like to contour with more neutral undertones. Now let's take this with a different brush because I just, we're, we gotta try this out. We're gonna use this one just because I really like this brush. Sorry, you guys, I wish it was still available. Marc Jacobs, come back. He had like the best brushes. All right, so we're just gonna stamp that right there. Just like that, and don't worry, we'll clean up that bottom area. Oh my gosh, you guys, what? Okay, I messed up that bottom part, but what? We're gonna take shade two onto my uh, Makeup Forever sponge, and because it has that beautiful flat edge right there, we're just gonna clean that. This is with no foundation on. I don't even need foundation. You don't need foundation. This is another good one, this Fenty Beauty one you can use, and that's a little bit softer, and you can just kind of diffuse out the edges. This is uh, Fenty's cheek brush. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Back into the BK Beauty, nothing on it, just kind of blending out the edges. And you don't need to set this. We're not setting this. We're not using any powders today. This is all we're using. We wanna see how this holds up. Does that not look flawless or what? All right, we'll use the Fenty one on this side and just kind of see the difference. See if it's the brush too that made the big, big difference. Ooh, this is a good one, but this gives it a much softer contour. My hair hanging around my cheek like that. Yeah, I love it with the BK Beauty brush. I'm sure the Rose and Bent one's gonna be amazing too. Let's just go over the skin. I'm just using two. I forgot to use three. But we'll, we'll put three on the forehead since I forgot already. <laughs> All right, let's take the BK Beauty number 101 again. Just put that on the forehead. Oh yeah, three matches perfectly too. Goodness gracious. These are so flexible, you literally cannot go wrong. Yeah. So three is on my forehead. This is so perfect. I literally can do this if I wasn't talking and all that in like minutes and be out the door. I think I would still set my under eye a little bit because I do notice that it's not, I'm a little afraid of that. Not, not 
on uh, wearing over time. So I think for me as a security blanket, I'll just set a little bit. I noticed Rose and Ben did that a little bit on her under eye as well. Just a little bit of my one size right there. I mean, there's like no demarcation lines, seriously. And I've barely pulled it down my neck. Yeah, it works really good with this brush, this puff too. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, let's carve out the jawline with number six. And I'm just taking the brush directly at this point. So I'm gonna use this Lorac brush. It's like their contour brush. And I'm just gonna pull that right there. You can just pull that and give yourself a little bit more color and pull that down. And I always like to kind of take my BK Beauty brush, nothing on it, just blending stuff around so that there's no lines. All right, let's do a little bit of nose contouring. I'm gonna use this Sephora brush that I've been using with my cream contours for my nose. It makes like the perfect nose contour brush ever. Just intensifies that lower lip. Now let's just blend in a little. I know, it looks a little crazy right now. Trust the process. All right, we're gonna go in with my other favorite brush. I will put it below. This is like the one brush I use for spot concealing and lately everything. It just is like my favorite brush ever. It's so soft. Oh, this brush is a miracle, seriously. It just blends stuff in perfectly for your eyelids. So the base is kind of still creasing on my eyelids. So I think I would have to set that down with powder, you guys, just an FYI. Uh, but yeah, wow, that's flipping amazing. This is like an incredible foundation. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. And the best part is it's for everybody. I mean, come on now. I'm just gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder in Medium onto my Makeup Forever Puff because I think throughout the day, like she said, it's a time-releasing ingredient that as oils come about more and more, it's going to suck it up even more. So I think right now it just feels, but because I wanna go in right away and do an eyeshadow look, I'm gonna set it down. But for the rest of my skin, I think we'll be okay. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm not using any powders. This is so weird. We are gonna bronze up the skin just a little bit with the one size in light. And by the way, I'm still loving this powder but I had to go too light because medium was way too aggressive for me. So this is such a pigmented bronzer, you have to go down at least one to two shades. Um, it's no joke, you guys, or it can look really muddy. So we're just gonna use the top ones today because we already have a contour going on and it's powdery, so be careful, but I still love this bronzer. We're gonna see how this goes over it. I'm actually going to do more stamping motions because it still feels a little bit tacky. So I just wanna make sure that we're not rubbing around anything I wouldn't just go in like that because it is still a little bit just a teensy bit tacky right? so I would recommend pressing your your uh, bronzer in if you're going to do a bronzer all right you guys so I finished up the rest of my makeup and I did create this eyeshadow look that you will see on another tutorial another video I should say and very excited I did end up using the Danessa Myricks color fix rebirth so you'll get to see all of that in action uh, make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss that video let's just kind of round up before we do our check-ins I already did an outdoor check-in so I can let you guys know in just a second but all in all, I'm really, really happy with this powder hybrid. I don't even really know what to call it because it's pretty darn magical. <laughs> now, there is one thing I have to say. I did set down this side a little bit more with powder, with just my Charlotte Tilbury. I do feel like at I got a little scared at first, so I just set it down. But as it stated, and I should have trusted the process, because this side is absolutely fine now. It's just really just become one with my skin. I didn't really need to set it down. It is amazing, you guys. I am keeping every single shade. I think my contour bronzing effect never went on smoother. It is pretty darn innovative. This is not another foundation or another powder or another setting powder or another primer. This is like nothing I have ever seen in the cosmetic industry and I have been doing makeup for many years. I am 44 years old. I've been wearing makeup for many, many years and I have never in my glam life come across a product and an ingredient so incredibly magical. 
Now, I do feel like for my personal taste, I still like to set under the eyes with my one size powder. You guys know that's just my, my magical powder. So I would say if I was repurchasing this again, I don't know if I would need shade one so much. Uh, I just don't even probably see myself using that. Maybe as a primer, we can play with that. But I still don't think for dry skin that it's gonna be the best primer for someone like me. So I think shade two and three are my favorite. And I love shade six for that. I don't even know what that sound is. Sorry, you guys. I have no idea where that sound is coming from. I hope you can't hear it. Sorry, that just startled me. I'm like, wait, what just happened? What's going on? Is it an earthquake? I live in SoCal. You never know what's gonna happen. Anyway, so I love shade six. I think that is a beautiful contour bronzing shade. I think seven would warm up the skin even more. If you're saying, Christy, I can only afford to get one, obviously I would say get one to match your skin tone. If you're a twinsy to me, two and three match to me. So they're so flexible as she stated because they're so lightweight and you know not translucent because there's pigment I mean you guys I use this as a foundation as far as application goes and I'm just gonna cover on this really quickly my favorite ways to apply it were the BK Beauty 101 brush I think that applied it beautifully and my makeup forever sponge uh, I tried it with my dose of colors one which you guys know is my holy grail sponge and it didn't work as good so I think there's something about this texture of this sponge in particular or I'm, I'm sure if you can find something comparable I only know because this is the one that worked really well uh, I, I love this sponge so much so I think that applied it unbelievably well and I think my stands out beauty sponge applied it pretty darn good but not as good this gave me the most coverage I would have to say and then the BK Beauty was nice to really like press in and really just kind of mesh everything together if you're doing more of that contoured look because it is a little has a little bit of slip in the beginning right because your oils haven't come through yet in order for that up to light to trap it in so again that's going to happen more progressively right it's more of a time releasing type of ingredient so you have to make sure that you're really pressing products in versus swiping or that's when you're going to start probably seeing a little bit of streaking so there's a little bit of a learning curve there and you can just use your fingers too and like she said you can just tap it in with your fingers as well i'm just not a big finger person if i don't have to so it'd be interesting to see what it's like on oily skin if you do have oily skin please comment below and let our glam fam sisters know how it wore on you i don't have oily skin or you know, i don't have an excess amount of sebum so i can't tell you how that's going to be and i don't live in a humid climate i'm in southern california it's a little bit more dry here so i love to hear for my glam fam sisters because this is supposed to be really good for humidity like amazing for humidity and for my oily skin girls so i can't wait to hear feedback on that and see i know crystal lives in georgia which is extremely humid so crystal loves danessa myrick so let me know crystal and uh, any of you out there that live in humid climates please comment below and let our sisters know thank you so much you guys we have such a wonderful sisterhood going on more and more people starting to comment now i'm getting introduced to so many incredible women incredible women so i love you guys so much thank you for all your love and support each week you come back and watch my videos and i greatly appreciate that i hope you like these midweek videos i decided to go on friday because i am going to release a video on mother's day so happy early mother's day but i will wish you guys a mother's day greeting on a sunday as well when we test out the new jacqueline hill in collaboration palette with her mom so keep on watching you guys please remember to hit that subscribe button do all the youtubey things and i will see you guys in a little bit all right you guys it's almost six o'clock and i wanted to do an outdoor check-in and show you guys what it looks like it's looking pretty good outside but i wanted you guys to get a good perspective of what it looks like inside and outside and it's holding up really nicely it's really beautiful I will see you guys at the end of the night. All right, you guys, we're at the end of the night and I just wanted to check in for the last time and it's about almost eight o'clock. I'm really tired. So I'm just going to take this makeup off. It has worn beautifully. I mean, just, wow, I'm impressed. So it really did set within 
my skin. It didn't accentuate any of my pores or my texture or my breakout right there. I'm happy with how everything turned out. One thing I forgot to mention is that I do feel like it's not a good eyeshadow base for my personal eyelids. So try it on yours, but I just feel like my other bases, I would use more than that. But other than that, I just love it. And I can see myself just absolutely reaching for this every day and just using this instead of my powdered foundation. So I really am so intrigued by that ingredient. I can't wait to keep playing with this more. Again, so happy with the way even that contour turned out. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment below, let me know if you guys got your hands on this and I will see you on the next video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Love you guys, bye. Thank you.